Don't worry if you still have all that Halloween candy left over. We're going to take care of you for this weekend. This is where we actually give you our picks for streaming for the weekend. We tell you something you got to check out on your streaming services. First up, it's Andre. Okay, I binge watched this because I love this. My pick for this week is the Dallas Cowboy Cheerleaders Doc America's Sweethearts. Here we go, DCC! Yo, heads up, it's time, it's focus. Beautiful, classy, feminine. Everything would be perfect if I were that woman. It's a lot of pressure every single night. Our job is to make it look easy. Since I was little, Dallas Cowboys Sheilers, that's what I want to do. I had no idea what these women go through oh, yeah. in yeah. order to be a part of this. And they don't get paid much. No, they get paid hardly anything. And especially when your cheerleading team is better than the actual team. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's... <laughs> Matt oh, at dailyflashshow.com for a uh, yeah, I don't like the Cowboys. <laughs> yes. All righty. Well, my pick this week, of course, it's something nerdy. It's the final season of Star Trek Below Decks Nerd. on Paramount+. Plus. Captain's log. For once, everything's going better than expected. This is terrible. I wasn't sure how my junior officers would handle their new promotions. I don't want to get promoted. I want to stay charmingly and support. But they've shown remarkable composure. In the fifth and final season of Star Trek Below Decks, the crew of the USS Cerritos is take, it takes with closing the space portholes. Of course, uh, hilarity ensues, and I can't wait to see how the ending is. And I actually get to meet uh, Rod Roddenberry this weekend, okay. um, the son of the creator of Star Gene. Trek. Very yeah, cool. Gene Roddenberry. Very cool. All right, my pick, well, hey, we all need to sit down on a couch every once in a while yep. and do a little bit of shrinking. As therapist, I think we're all on a hot streak. Whoa. You wear your sex boxes at work for you, little freak. Dress for the job you want. Wow, you better slow that down. This is why I hate to come out of my office. I think that Alice is worried about me. It's rough to realize your kid knows how fragile you are. <laughs> Paul, do not do that. Yes. How are you so strong? I'm not fragile. Why don't you try and stick to conventional therapy? Jason Segal, he's a grieving therapist, has had enough, and he starts just telling his patients exactly what he thinks. And Harrison and Ford Harrison is Harrison Ford. <laughs> there you go. We got more Flash tomorrow. See y'all then.